What is up everybody, it's Dr. GTA and I'm coming to you with a tour today on how to install the GTA 5 Police Mod 1.0C. So hit like if you want to learn how to do that and you're having trouble getting this installed, and subscribe for more daily GTA 5 tutorials, news, mods, and other gameplays I do. And without further ado, we'll get into this video. Um, first off, you're going to need to navigate to the link in the description of this video, and it's the GTA 5 Mods link. There's going to be various links, but I'm not sure which ones yet because I haven't made the video, because I'm making it right now. But you're going to navigate to that link, and when you get to there, there's going to be a couple things in the description of that link um, that you're going to need to download. First off, you need to make sure you have GTA 5 updated fully to the most latest patch, and by that I mean you need to go to your GTA 5 folder. Um, mine is Program Files x86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Grand Theft Auto 5 and then you're going to need to go to the GTA 5 EXE and go to right click and go to properties go to details tab and make sure it's updated to 372 3722 on both of the product and the file versions for GTA 5.exe and the GTA 5 launcher for Steam and I'm not sure if uh, Social Club has been updated but you can either have it as 3722 or 3723 on both of them as long as it's nothing less than 3722 for both of them that means you successfully have the update for the game and I want you to run the game first go in game make sure you can load it and it works okay single player and online once you have that done um, you want to exit out of your game and come back to this page and then you're going to want to go to Visual C++ 2010 redistributable and you want to download it yeah, obviously there's a link right here you can go to it once you download it you're going to hit this download button right here. You don't want to check any of that. You only want to say no things and continue. Um, once you get it downloaded, if it ever downloads, <laughs> God, it's taking forever. Okay, come on. Five hours later. Ten hours later. Two years later. Five million light years later later four galaxies later okay there we go all right so once you click download um it's going to start downloading it should start downloading within 30 seconds if it doesn't i would just recommend click here anyway to download it boom it downloaded so once you're done with that you can exit that tab and go back to your gta 5 mod tab um, you're going to click the vc red disc 8 x86 and you're going to run it um, if you already have it installed, see it says the detected it does not meet the requirements because you already have it installed. Um, if you do have it installed, then it's going to get this menu and you can't continue, so you got to close it. But if you don't, then I recommend just install it and go through there. Once you get that installed, you're going to have to go back and um, download the police mod. So you're going to hit the download button and wait a couple seconds. It'll download that. Um, once you get that downloaded, you're going to open up the folder and you can close out the... Uh, um, the web browser for a second you're gonna have these four files in here one of them is the radio chatter and one of them is some other chatter I'm not sure what it is and then the configuration file you can navigate to this and it'll actually show you how to set up your name so you can change it right here mine will be sergeant Wade in the game so you change that um, game settings to true you only want to use no caps when you type true or false for this I recommend just put true because you want to see the little dots on the map when you're trying to chase an enemy um, call out timer false or true. I recommend true because sometimes with PCs with low memory It takes a long time to get a call out So set it for true and it'll use this value. This value is in milliseconds and what it does is it gets you a call out every um, 60 seconds if you take off milla you take off the three zeros That's how many seconds it'll be before you get a new call it So I would recommend to make it realistic 120 and then add three zeros um, Force duty this is actually X07B. You can find the list of keys right here on this website. All you have to do is copy it and uh, go to the website. I'll just do that just to show you guys really quick everything, breaking everything down today, no, pulling out all stops. You know, um, And basically here is the constant value. You can see there's a VLK button, there's actually a hex button, and then there's a description of the button, and that's what they stand for. So when you find what button you're using and you use the 0x27 hash uh, key code for it, and you replace it with this one. Um, this is uh, this one doesn't say what it is, but in the description it says you need to use F12. This is F12 right here. Um, if you need to like go on duty without like if you have problems, you can use F12, and that's what this is to go on duty. It'll just put you default to like a default police ped, put you on duty as a cop, but it won't spawn a vehicle. Okay, and then we'll go down to the next one. Keys menu is F3. I recommend changing this to something else because this F3 conflicts with a lot of trainers. I recommend do like page up or page down. Um, mine right now, if I go to my actual police mod config, mine is Sergeant Wade, um, 60 seconds here, 
078, which this is, I think, F11, because my screenshot's F12 and it gets annoying for Steam. Um, my page up is to open the menu, 0x21. My radio scanner key is dash, which is on the keyboard, so I can turn the radio scanner on and off, because it does get annoying, and you can't turn it off even if you turn the audio off in-game. Um, you can accept the call. Why? I kept that the same. I kept in the same for accepting a call, if you want to accept calls. Um, backup key is F5. I left that the same. F F6 for fire and F7 for ambulance backup. You can change those. You can change all these to what you want. Pullover key shift. I kept that the same. Some keys have conflicts with this with VAC. I'm not sure what it is. Windows account user control or something like that. Someone's having problems with change these keys to whatever you want. And then um, the busy key obviously is uh, F11 here and it's 0x7a. Um, you can change this to whatever you want. Mine, I changed this to, I think, like F10 because F11 was taken by the uh, radio, <coughs> radio scanner or something. And then the yell key is U. It doesn't work for all players, but it does work when you want to use animations for the game. Uh, like if you want to uh, like have the, the player yell at someone. And the coffee. If you push this one time, it'll pick up a coffee and he'll stand there with it. And he'll just stand there with it for like a couple minutes. So you don't keep pushing it to, to drop the coffee. Because he'll just keep pulling more coffees out. And that's pretty much all you have to do. And once you're done with that, you can save that file. And uh, once you're done, you can just save your file or whatever. Um, after that, in order to get this mod working, you're going to need to uh, take these four files. You don't need the readme. You just need to take these four files and you need to drag them out of the WinRare into your GTA 5 folder and paste them. Um, or you can just extract them to your desktop first. If you don't have WinRare, I'll, I'll link the description where, Win, where you can download WinRare as well. Um, you want to go to your desktop, obviously, and copy these four files over. And uh, just copy and paste them into the directory like this. I'll show you how I did it. Let's see. Just ignore the ne next part I'm about to do because I'm going to delete a couple things just to get it back to where it was. Alright. X that out. So this is how you do it. You take these four files, you cut them, and then you just paste them in here right here. And that's pretty much it. And now you successfully installed the mod. Now all you have to do is in order to get to work, go navigate to the link right here. Um, this is a video that shows you how to mod online. Now, this is for modding online in single player, so just in case you go online with this, you could get banned, but so that means don't go online with this. Um, but if you want to play like modding with your police friends online, you could use this online. So I'm just giving you everything you need so you can play the police mod online. I don't think people will get mad if you're playing as police officer online. Um, and then what you're going to do is take those four files, and that link in the description will show you how to install that mod. Basically, I'll go through a rundown real quick before you watch the video. You're going to take the four files just like you did from this video, but only from that video description, and you're going to copy and paste them to the same GTA 5 folder. And the files are going to consist of dnput8, <coughs> scripthookv, Uh, the Endeavor Trainer and the config file for it. These are going to be what you're going to use to make money and stuff. These two files you do need in there. You do not need the uh, Endeavor or the config. So you can go ahead and delete those. <laughs> you don't need to copy those. And then the GTA 5 native, that's also in the description, but it's not noted in the video. You need that to spawn cars online. So if you're trying to play online with friends and spawn cars, I'm not sure if the police mod lets you spawn cars online or if it's been updated, but I know that I have to put this in here if I want to spawn a car using a trainer. I have to have this in the in the in the uh, root of the directory. It doesn't do anything. It just helps link the cars to download and to update and to spawn online. It doesn't help with anything else, I don't think. But yeah, that's pretty much it. After you're done with that, you're just going to go in your game and uh, play, and it will work. Uh, I think that's it. Any questions relating in the comments? Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Again, if this video helps you in any way, like it and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys later. Get the fuck out of here. Peace. Bye. Go. Leave. Get out of here.